Welcome to my channel. You asked for it, and now you got it. Today we're gonna be watching The Godfather. Now I know that my impression is probably straight up. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Man, I don't know how Marlon Brando did it with these freaking cotton balls, man. This stuff is hard. <laughs> but hey, let's get into this movie reaction. It insists upon itself, Lois. What? America has made my fortune, and I raised my daughter in the American fashion. She found a boyfriend. He took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They tried to take advantage of her. She resisted, so they beat her. Just tragic, Her nose man. was broken. Her jaw was shattered. I don't know why there's creeps in the world like that, man. Now she will never be beautiful again. Wow, oh, man, you can't <laughs> say that, man. <laughs> You know, some plastic surgery, she might be fine. I really love how it's doing that slow zoom out I, for this intro. That's nice. I went nice. to the police. Then I said to my wife, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. That I cannot do. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. You never wanted my friendship. You were afraid to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I can see both viewpoints. Had a good trade, made a good living. Police protected you, and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a friend like me. But, uh, but you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married, and you ask me to do murder. Oh, I completely understand where you're coming from now. Heck yeah, I'll be the same she way. Suffered. You haven't given me the respect that I, I I'm deserve, man. Well, I said, if you'd come to me in friendship, and the scum that wound your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. Be my friend? It's too late for that now. <laughs> Come on, man. You only want me to be your friend because you need something. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. Uh, give this to uh, Clemenza. I mean, we're not murderers, in spite of what this uh, undertaker said. Bro, that man's physical work right there in that scene was amazing. He was killing it. Like, damn, Marlon Brando, the movie just started. Don't worry, it's over. Oh, wasn't he an elf? We're not taking the picture without Michael. I didn't know she was in this movie, too. Oh, hey, he was in Good Burger. 20, 30 grand in that little silk purse. Not on if this was somebody else's wedding. I got two I don't think it matters who wedding it is. You probably still would've got murked if you would've tried to steal that girl's money. Man, he's part of the way. No, no city can refuse okay. any request on his daughter's wedding day. Only time he wants pictures is when he wants pictures. What is it? Hey, it's my sister's wedding. Damn, the cops here? God damn FBI, I don't respect nothing. Now, I have seen a little bit of the Godfather video game. I've never played it myself, but I, I want to. Don Carlo, I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home on the wedding day of your daughter and may that first child be a masculine child. Boy, trying to make sure he get that speech right. Don't want to mess it up when you get your one chance to talk to the Godfather. You look terrific. My brother Tom Hagen is oh, Kay Adams. How, how do you do? do? If he's your brother, why does he have a different name? My father took him in, and he's been with us ever since. Okay, yeah. Well, he's I was a good lawyer. Same thing like her. I think he's going to be consigliere, like a counselor, an advisor. Very important to the family. Don Colleone, 
I am honored that you have invited me to your daughter's wedding. Man, nervous. On the day of your daughter's wedding. <laughs> and I hope that their first child be a masculine child. Thank you, Luca. My most valued friend. I'm going to leave you now because I know you are busy. <laughs> Uh, that man was looking at him like, bro, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what y'all talking about? Okay, bro, let's see They talking about them dildos. All right, that's what's up. It's like, you know damn well our man don't get them sizes. <laughs> Oh, timer said, I gotta show y'all how it's done. I think his teeth was almost about to fall out for a second. <laughs> this heart I bring I have but one. Well, when Johnny was first starting out, he was signed to this personal service contract. And as his career got better and better, he wanted to get out of it. Now, Johnny is my father's godson. My father went to see this band leader, and he offered him $10,000 to let Johnny go. But the band leader said no. So the next day, my father went to see him, only this time with Luca Brazzi. My father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> Luca Brazzi held a gun to his head, and my father assured him that either his brains or his signature would be on the contract. Damn. <laughs> That's what's up. I like that. That's my family, Kay. It's not me. If I had this part in the picture, it puts me right back up on top again. This man out there, he won't give it to me. The head of the studio. What's his name? Waltz. Oh, this boy right here is spoiled, man. And the main character. It's a guy just like me. Why, uh, I wouldn't even have to act. You can act like a man! Exactly. Is this how you turn around to Hollywood? <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? <laughs> what is that noise? I want you to rest well, and a month from now, this Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> I wonder how many times they say that in this movie. I know that line is so iconic. Now, your new son-in-law, we give him something important. Give him a living, but never discuss the family business with him. Exactly, you don't want We're him to know nothing. Support. Sent by a friend of Johnny Fontaine. Give Johnny the part in that new war film you're starting next week. He just saying that right yeah. there in front of that man like what he ain't listening. Would, are you trying to muscle me? Let me lay it on the line for you and your boss, whoever he is. Johnny Fontaine will never get that movie. I don't care how many Dago, Guinea, what greaseball goombas come out of the woodwork. I'm German-Irish. Stay professional and slick about it. Why don't you say you work for Colleoni, Tom? I thought you were just some cheap two-bit hustler Johnny was running in trying to bluff me. I don't want to use his name unless it's really necessary. Hey, uh, six hundred thousand dollars on four hooks. I'll bet Russian Tsar never paid that kind of dough for a single horse. Johnny Fontaine never gets that movie. It'll make him a big star. I'm gonna run him out of the business. Damn, man, you petty. And let me be even more frank. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had him all over the world. Oh, so he just took your girl from you? Then Johnny Fontaine comes along with his olive oil voice and guinea charm. She threw it all away just to make me look ridiculous. You making your own self look ridiculous. Thank you for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. Is that a Mr. wig? Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news immediately. Or just like a hairpiece. Oh, snap. Whoa. Wow! Ah! Damn! They killed his favorite horse. <laughs> it's crazy. How was they even able to do that without that man waking up, putting all that blood on him and everything? She like, I was thinking that they like cut his dick off or something. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> or that they killed somebody in the bed with him or something. I need a million dollars in cash. I need Don Corleone, those politicians that you carry in your pocket. What is the interest for my family? 30%. You'll need more than 30%, my brother. I said that I would see because I heard that you were a serious man. But uh, I must say no to you. Bro, that's one of the things I just love about physical work. Like, I don't know if that was in the script or not, but he didn't even really have to do that if that wasn't in the script. But that's what separates a good actor from a great actor. But uh, your business is uh, a little dangerous. If you're worried about security for your million, 
that the Italians will guarantee it. Oh, are you telling me that the Italians guarantee our investment? Wait a minute. Yeah, man, what are you talking for me? I'm the godfather. I have a sentimental weakness for my children, and I spoil them, as you can see. They talk when they should listen. Good luck to you, especially since your interests don't conflict with mine. I mean, that's just something that you can't really trust. So I understand why he's hesitant with it. Giving a man a million dollars and he talking about he gonna flip it to four million? Bro, I don't know you. What's the matter you. with you? I'm a little worried about this Salozzo fella. I want you to find out what he's got under his fingernails, you know? Make them think that uh, you're not too happy with our family and... Oh man, I like where this is going right here, okay. Oh, that boy putting on the vest, okay. Ooh, he about to do some work. Tell Paulie to get the car we're going. I'll have to get it myself, Pa. Polly called in sick this morning. Huh? I parlato con la famiglia tatale. I did not know that I needed subtitles, so, so I had to rewind this scene to put the subtitles on. I didn't know what the hell they were saying. Oh, I appreciate that, brother. Right. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god! No! What? Oh, I thought... Damn, I really didn't think he was gonna die. Hello, Tom Hagen. I want to talk to you. What are you worried about? If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. Oh, this boy talking big shit. All right, man. Don't try to start a war, bro. <laughs> you don't know who the hell you messing with. Oh, these boys get balls. Oh, no! What the hell? This man fumbling the gun. What type of... Yo! What? <laughs> I most definitely didn't think he was gonna die. Mike. You knew and this is how you wanna tell me? You gonna have me read the paper? You just not gonna tell me? I don't say if he's dead or alive. The Tatalia family is behind me with all their people. The other New York families will go along with anything that'll prevent the full-scale war. The Don, rest in peace, was slipping. Ten years ago, could I have gotten to him? Yeah, I will say that that was kind of messed up that he didn't have no bodyguards with him. He's still alive. They hit him with five shots and he's still alive. Well, that's bad luck for me and bad luck for you if you don't make that deal. Thank God, man, he's still alive. That was some messed up stuff that just happened right there. So far, this movie's got me on the edge of my seat now. If we lose the old man, we lose our political contacts and half our strength. The other New York families might wind up supporting Salazzo just to avoid a long, destructive war. You make the deal, Sonny. You know, it's easy for you to say, Tom, he's not your father. I was as much a son to him as you or Mike. Yeah, but you didn't come out of his balls, though. <laughs> Paul, he sold out the old man, that struts. I don't want to see him again. Make that first thing on your list, understand? Hmm, how do you and know Paul again? On. What the hell is this? That's a Sicilian message. It means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. Damn. Hey, at least they gave us some fresh fish. <laughs> hey, pull up, will you? I gotta take a leak. Oh, damn, there's somebody in the back of the car. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. <laughs> this man said, take the cannoli. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even want to ask him any questions. Like, I just assumed that Pauly was a rat or a traitor, I mean. Hello, Kay. How's your father? He's good. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me you love me. Yeah, I can't talk. Can't you say it? I'm around the boys right now. I ain't trying I'll to get clowned on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't you tell that nice girl you love her? I love you with all of my heart. If I don't see you again soon, I'm going to die. Damn, you meddling all up in the phone. <laughs> Come over here, kid. Learn something. He come to visit his father, but there ain't nobody there. Where are all the nurses and doctors and stuff at? What are you doing here? You're not Girl, you scared here. the hell out of me, man. I'm Michael Corleone. <laughs> this is my father. There's nobody here. What happened to the guards? The police made them leave about 10 minutes ago. Oh, that's a BS excuse. The police on the payroll. Hey. 
That's a nice shot. I like I like that. Especially with the lighting. I hear about. I'll take care of you now. I'm with you now. Oh man, that's real nice. I like that. Got this man smiling and crying, man. Whoa, wait, 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 what's going on? What happened to the men who were guarding my father, Captain? I pulled them guys off of here, huh? What's the tech paying you to set up my father, Captain? Put you on blast in front of your boys. <laughs> damn, okay, this boy don't give a damn. Oh, you gonna regret that old man. What's with all the new faces? Damn, he hit him hard as hell. That boy cheek is After swollen. After the hospital thing, Sonny got mad. What did he say? What did he say? But a beep, but a bap, but a boop, but a He wants us to send Michael to hear the proposition. And the promise is that the deal is so good that we can't refuse. Hey. They want to have a meeting with me, right? It will be me, Klusky, and Salazzo. Get our informers to find out where it's going to be held. Now we insist it's a public place. I love how he's sitting in that chair and I love how they yeah, have search that when I first whole meet them, scene right? just shot right there. It's like showing that he's but probably going to be the next figure a way Godfather or something. To have a weapon planted there for me, then I'll kill them both. Where does it say that you can't kill a cop? I'm talking about a, a, a dishonest cop, a crooked cop who got mixed up in the rackets and got what was coming to him. Oh, that's some great acting right here. He is taking that injury in, into consideration and changing the way that he talks. I know there's a lot of actors that will forget all about it. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. You talk for a while, you relax. Then you get up and you go take a leak. You ask for permission to go. Then when you come back, you come out blasting. And don't take any chances. Two shots in the head apiece. I don't want my brother coming out of that toilet with just his dick in his hands, all right? The gun will be there. <laughs> Man, you don't want at least just one person sitting in the corner yeah. watching the whole thing just to make you sure. The gun right away. To have like yeah, a backup plan or something? Listen, um, Square with mom, you know, you're not seeing her before you leave, and uh, man, about hairy as hell. <laughs> Take care, huh? All right, see you later, sweater coat. God damn, New Jersey, New Jersey, maybe. Oh, uh, y'all playing too much. <laughs> I'm gonna speak Italian to Mike. Me dispiace. Ci sali. Che tu a sapere. So it seems like they just don't want us to know what they're talking about because I've tried to see all my different like subtitles to see if it will pop up and it's not popping up. What I want is that I have a guarantee. No more attempts on my father's life. What guarantees can I give you, Mike? I am the hunted one. I missed my chance. All I want is a truce. Bro, there's no truce is gonna happen. You tried to kill my father, bro. That nigga tried to kill my father! everything we love we coming to see us. I have to go to the bathroom. Damn, bro, you, you just checked I frisked him. He's clean. Don't take too long. I'm a grown ass man. I can take it as long as I want to. Si italiano come tu padre? Quando tu sta medio? Il cane ti fa un di un un. Wow, just look at his eyes. Like, his forse. eyes is even telling a story. The thoughts racing through his head. Oh! Oh! He looking at him like, damn, man, that was a good shot. <laughs> Good shit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's still recovering and stuff? I think it's best for him to be at home anyway and recover. What's the matter with you, Carl? Shut up and set the table. Who the hell you think you talking to, bro? I understand you her husband, but bro, you need to remember whose who, house you in. Michael who killed Salazzo. Yeah, man, he feel heartbroken. He didn't want him to get into this life. You know, Nick, they're having a good time with the... What? <laughs> Dang, that caught me off guard. Well, Papa never talked business at the table in front of the kids. Hey, shut up, Connie. Hey, don't you ever tell her to shut up. You got that? 
Yeah, I don't know what's up with this dude, man. This boy right here, reckless. You no, know, Sonny, Tom, I'd like to talk to you maybe after dinner. I could be doing a lot more for the family. We don't discuss business at the table. Oh, he's trying to act hard and stuff. Dude. He think that's probably going to get him in with the family. Nah, bro, that's just going to get your butt killed. Mamma mia, so cascato innamorato. Ma vado su per la montagna. Yo, she, she is gorgeous. That man. Hey, que se llama su boca de Don Fumine. My name is Michael Corleone. It's a llama Miguel Corleone. Now, there are people who pay a lot of money for that information. I want to meet your daughter. Vuole conoscere vostra figlia. With your permission. Con il suo permesso. And under the supervision of your family. E con il consenso di tutta la famiglia. With all respect. Con tutto il rispetto, naturalmente. Man, that boy is smooth with it. Came in there strong. Okay. E come si chiama vostra figlia? Apollonia. Apollonia? Oh, okay. That's a nice name. Damn, so they just always gonna be there. <laughs> they ain't gonna let them spend no alone time together. Whoa, what's going on? What's my fault. Where is Nah, Stanley? I don't wanna hear that bullshit. Sonny, it was my fault. I hit him. I started a fight with him. Please, Sonny. Damn, that's messed up that women be going through stuff like that and then that's when they be blaming themselves. I just, I, I hate that. Sonny, please don't do anything. Please don't do it. Nah, that motherfucker about to die. I'll torture that baby man. An before he's born. <laughs> I, just, I hate men like that, where they seem like they all cool at first, and as soon as y'all get married or something, all of a sudden this man starts beating you and stuff. Like, what the hell? That's so manipulative. Nah, let go of that pole, bitch. <laughs> you biting that head. You better let go. Bang his head against the pole. There you go. Whoop his ass. Yeah. My sister again, I'll kill you. Bruh, nah, I will still be whooping his ass, man. I will whoop his ass until an inch of his life. Wow, she looks amazing in that dress. Hey, he didn't even want to like contact his family and let them know. Could have sent them a letter or something before you get married. Eh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you pregnant Hello? with that douche baby? Who's this? It's a friend of Carlos. Would you tell him that I can't make it tonight until later? What? Oh, hell no. You pregnant with this man's baby? You got another woman calling the house? Food, it's on the table. It's getting cold. I'll eat out later. You just told me to make you dinner. Hey, bafangul, huh? Oh, bafangul, yo! <laughs> That's it. Break it all, you spoiled guinea brat. Break it all. Why would you put a pregnant woman through all this bullshit? This man bringing out the belt? This is a grown ass woman. And she's pregnant. Yeah, yeah, come on now, kill me. Be a murderer like your father. Come on, all you probably owns a murderers anyway. Come on, you, get out of here. Bro, you better not have fucking killed this woman, bro. Like that shit like really pissed me the fuck off, man. It, it made me want to jump through the screen. That's a new way right there. <coughs> bro, you need like two other people to go with you, man. Just have some bodyguards, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Y'all think you're smart. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? as hell how did they even plan this together 
My wife is crying upstairs. I think you should tell your Don what everyone seems to know. I was about to come up and wake you just now and tell you. They shot Sonny on the causeway. He's dead. <sighs> I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. This war stops now. And seeing him respond off of that, that like, like I felt like I was there in that moment and pretty much hit me, man. So that's why I was just tearing up. Are you ready to do me the service? I want you to use all your powers and all your skills. I don't want his mother to see him this way. Look how they massacred my boy. That's beyond tragic. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, ah. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday then Sunday, girl. <laughs> Fabricio. Do not tell me that she's about to blow up. No, I belong. Bro, she didn't deserve that. What the hell, man? They are really coming after this family. That boy really betrayed him, man. How did things ever get so far? I don't know. We are all grateful to Don Corleone for calling this meeting. A modest man, he'll always listen to reason. He's too modest. He had all the judges and politicians in his pocket. He refused to share them. I mean, if I got all the politicians, why would I share them? If you don't take your hating ass on somewhere. When did I ever refuse? Except one time. Because I believe this drug business is going to destroy us in the years to come. Don Corleone had all the judges and the politicians in New York. Then he must share them. All it others use them. He must let us draw the water from the well. That's some straight BS, man. What are y'all talking about? For years, I paid my people extra so they wouldn't do that kind of business. I want to control it as a business, to keep it respectable. In my city, we would keep the traffic in the dark, people, to call it. The animals Damn. anyway, so let them lose their souls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that, that's what they was doing. My younger son was forced to leave this country. I have to make arrangements to bring him back here safely. And if some unlucky accident should befall him, if he should get shot in the head by a police officer, or if he should hang himself in his jail cell, then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room, and then I do not forgive. Let me say that I swear on the souls of my grandchildren that I will not be the one to break the peace we've made here today. Oh, that was a beautiful monologue, man. A lot of dialogue. Boy, Marlon Brando killed that. I really like this character. He's a very intelligent man, and he's tactical. But seeing he's a man who know that without being told, the Dan is a pimp. He never could have outfought Santino. But I didn't know until this day that it was Barcini all along. Always has, he had a whole bunch of shit to say. Don't show up while she at work? Like, hey, what's up, baby? You miss me? How long have you been <laughs> back? Boy, coming in like a G. I've been back a year. Michael, why did you come here? What do you want from me after all this time without even calling and writing? I came here because I need you. Because the love of my life because died, so uh, you my second Please choice. Stop it, Michael. <laughs> Damn, that's remember. savage. You once said that the day would come when Tessio and me could form our own family. I must ask your permission. Well, Michael is now head of the family, and if he gives his permission, then you have my blessing. Oh, I can tell you. That boy, the boss like that? All right. Tom Hagen's no longer consigliere. If I ever need help, who's a better consigliere than my father? I mean, yeah, who wouldn't be a better consigliere than previous godfather? Sounds like the best choice to me. Welcome to Las Vegas. All for you, kid. Right? It was all his idea, right? Didn't you? Get rid of them, Fredo. I ain't trying Ooh, to have no God. prostitutes up in here. Business, I leave tomorrow and I get rid of them. I really like how his character has evolved throughout Mike, this movie. 
Now, Mo Green will sell us his share of the casino and the hotel so it can be completely owned by the family. Tom? Hey, Mark, are you sure about that? Yeah, well, I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Ha <laughs> ha! Casino. The hotel. Corleone family wants to buy you out. Your casino loses money. Maybe we can do better. The Coyote family don't even have that kind of muscle anymore. The Godfather is sick, right? I talked to Barzini. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. Bitch, I'm the Godfather. Slap my brother man. around in public? Oh, no, that, that, that was nothing, Mike. We had a little argument, Freddie and I, so I had to straighten him out. You straightened my brother out. Bro, you must have... You don't know your fucking place. Tom, you're the conciliary. Now, you can talk to the Don, you can explain... Just a minute. You don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that! Who the hell you think you're talking to? Fredo, you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. <laughs> I don't even know why the hell he would do that, bro. Barzini won't move against you first. He'll set up a meeting with someone that you absolutely trust, guaranteeing your safety. And at that meeting, you'll be assassinated. How's your boy? He's good. Three years old, he can read the funny papers. Read the funny papers. What's the matter? What's bothering you? A man getting old, man. He's probably upset about you being in the family business. I never wanted this for you. And I refused to be a fool. Dancing on the string, held by all those big shots. Senator Corleone. Governor Corleone. Something. Another person of Vanta. I mean, he still probably would have been involved in enough the life, time, though, Michael. if he was to be was a senator or a governor. Now listen, whoever comes to you with this Barzini meeting, he's a traitor. Why would he even want to meet up? We already established the truce. What more is there to talk about? Come on. Come on, old man, you need to rest, man. You shouldn't be playing around like this. You're still somewhat recovering. Damn, man, that is a dangerous cough right there. Oh my god, do not tell me he's having like a heart attack or something. Oh my freaking god. And this little kid just think he playing. Damn, man. I, I really didn't think I was going to be this invested into this film where I'm like really getting a lot of emotions and stuff. Wow, man, that's so sad. Mike, can I have a minute? Y'all really going to do this at my father's funeral? Can we like just have the funeral? Barzini wants to arrange a meeting. You talk to him? Yeah. I can arrange security on my territory. So we help y'all branch out to become your own family and you immediately become traitor. I always thought it would have been Clemenza, not Tessie. Hey man, don't be putting your hot ass breath on my son, man. <laughs> oh, that, that's a girl, my bad. Amen. Yeah, leave your fingers stink. She's <laughs> like, bro, what, what do you be using your hands for? <laughs> do you renounce Satan? Damn! I do renounce him. Oh, shit! And all his works? Damn, he's saying all this while he had like almost all his enemies killed. That's oh my goodness, this is an epic scene right here. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Michael Rizzi, go in peace, and may the Lord be with you. Amen. That was a major power play. The boss says we're coming in a separate car. He says for you two to go on ahead. Hell, he can't do that. It screws up all my arrangements. I can't go either, Sal. <laughs> you like, damn, I already know. 
It's been real, man. Tell Mike it was only business. Tom, can you get me off the hook? Hell no. Nah. Yes, kill this man. You have to answer for Santino, Carlo. You fingered Sonny for the Barzini people. Ah, that little farce you played with my sister. You think that could fool the Corleone? Please, Mike, don't do this to me. About damn time they better handle this man. Today I settle all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent, Carlo. That man was trying so hard to be a part of the family business that he went ahead with other families. Because it insults my intelligence. It makes me very angry. Now who approached you? Tatalia or Barzini? Bro, I'm really liking this performance right here from Al Pacino, just how subtle it is. It was Barzini. Hello, Carlo. There ah. we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Hell yeah. Damn. Hey, bro, you over dramatic, man. You're just getting strangled to death. Come on now. Golly. I really liked how they filmed that, though. They placed the camera on the car. Michael, you lousy bastard. You killed my husband. You blamed him for Sonny. You always did. Everybody did. But you never thought about me. You never gave a damn about me. Now that man must have some Connie. good dick. But come on, girl. He was whooping your ass. <laughs> she really needs somebody to talk to. She's hysterical. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No. And this one time I let you ask me about my affairs. Is it true? No. <laughs> Man, come on. I would have been straight up with him. I would have told him the truth. It's not like you're going to leave me or whatever. I've already told you what my family has done. Like, if you with me, you have a kid with me, you married with me, I told you what my family has done, you should have already have accepted the life. Especially, I'm running it. So you should already know what the hell's going on. Hey, she noticed that he was lying right there. Oh, that's the end? Oh, man. Come on. Damn. That was a good movie. I'll tell you that right now. All right, everybody, and that was The Godfather. I don't think this movie needed to be three hours long because there was a, a lot of scenes in here where he could have cut short, but I understand he wanted us to be invested in the environment. It insists upon itself, Lois. What? It insists upon itself. What does that even mean? I already knew this movie wasn't going to be like Goodfellas. I wasn't expecting a lot of action. You get invested into the relationships. You feel the tension in the conversations that certain people were having. A lot of betrayal in this movie. I love this movie. I'm just going to tell you right out the gate. This is a 10 A+. Plus. <laughs> I love the acting in this movie. Everybody did fantastic. Marlon Brando and Al Pacino killed it in this movie. When it comes to Marlon Brando, I just loved analyzing his mannerisms and seeing how he was going about his performance. I really liked Al Pacino's performance here. This is completely different than I've seen anything of his. He was very subtle and he was intimidating while being subtle and just to see his evolution as a character throughout this film was so amazing for him to now evolve into the godfather himself oh my gosh like I, it got me excited for the second one now i cannot wait to see the second one and i i know that robert de niro's in the second one that's pretty much all i know about it i loved how this movie started off that intro was just so good and the ending was even better the way that movie ended. I just love the visual storytelling in that ending. You can see it in her face that she is like struggling and she's fighting within herself to accept the life that is going on. Cause she's not stupid, but she accepts that he's like, yeah, no, I didn't do it. So she believes him. And then when she walks out and looks in the room and see the guy kiss his hand and see the other guy call him Don Corleone, she's like, wow, this man lied to me. <laughs> and I just love the expression on her face where you just see the re realization that she's like, 
he's the godfather now. <laughs> Love the score in this film, even though it was pretty much kind of like the same song playing over and over again, just different variations of it. It's still an epic piece of music to hear. I love the Godfather theme. The directing in this movie was just so good. But I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts when it comes to this movie. You know, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, comment down below, and subscribe. That definitely helps the channel grow and the video grow. You know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description. But yeah, but with all that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Peace.